We're living in crazy times. The sort of world where you might expect one of these guys to swoop in and save the day. For the last few years, I've been living in the great USA, home to Superman and Donald Trump. Trump is portrayed by some as an evil mastermind. He isn't. This is a presidency that blusters through. The Don is more of a clown, more of a joker than Superman's nemesis. After a narrow victory, President Trump began creating sideshows, not least that drama with Russia, described by John Oliver as stupid Watergate. But my problem is that the soap operas totally obscure the stuff that's ruining lives. You may not have noticed a report this week from independent analysts which said that more civilians have been killed in US-led bombing raids in Iraq and Syria in the six months of Donald Trump's presidency than in the entirety of Barack Obama's presidency. And that healthcare bill, the Independent Congressional Budget Office, said that if it had gone through, it would have taken healthcare away from 23 million people. Back here in Blighty, anti-heroes have turned EU membership from an issue that people didn't really care about into some sort of religious war, dividing mother and son and town and city. The US and UK are caught in a web where irrationality has prevailed without the leadership to get them out of it. The Republicans have no idea how to handle Donald Trump who I think will see through his presidency without impeachment. And in Britain, the political class seems as divided and confused over Brexit as everyone else. As voters, we can't turn back time, but maybe we should be better informed. As a person who works in news, I am trapped between absolutely loving the theater of our times and not liking it at all.